Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mark with M2M Detail and today we're gonna to be doing a product review. I know I've been talking about it for a couple months now, but I got some time, I'm gonna make this quick video for you. It is gonna be on the PXE80 12.0 EC. So, here's the thing, but pretty much we're gonna go through a little unboxing. I'm not gonna open the box, guys. It's just cardboard inside, but I'm gonna show you what comes in the content of the box. But yeah, so it's called Flex, the original. So, it's pretty much how it comes. And let's get into the video and hopefully you guys enjoy and stay tuned for the next video we're going to be doing some paint protection film on the headlights of the tundra and we're going to be doing a bulk install and we'll be using this to uh, make sure the headlights are completely clean and buffed out any minor scratches will be gone before we apply the ppf as always guys thank you for watching please like and subscribe i'm gonna be getting more content out there and getting you better content so Here's the box it comes in. I believe it's like 419, 429 um, when I bought it. I'll put some links in the description for Amazon and some other websites you can buy it at. So here's the box. Box gone. Um, you get some information about the gun, the battery. Not sure what that is. So we don't need that, guys. Um, cool thing you get, you get a nice little bag. So let's check out the bag. Um, I have a bunch of these bags because I have a couple flex polishers and Sold a couple, so the bags are really nice. Um, you see you have like some different areas, different departments right here. You can put your compound, throw all your polishers, or you know, this one, this one's real tiny to fit in there, so you could throw some other stuff. If you guys are a mobile detailer, um, you should have a tinier polisher besides like your regular five inch or six inch, whatever you guys are using. The bag's really nice, really good quality. Um, some plastic bags we don't need to worry about. So Let's get into it guys. Um, let's talk about some features. Um, speed, you got four speeds. So you're gonna have um, one is 2000 RPM, two is 3000, three is 4000, and four is 5800 RPMs. Um, pretty much uh, it takes time getting used to turning this on. So you push it down a little bit and then just roll it up. So if you try to just go straight up, it won't engage. It'll just slow spin. But if you push it from the bottom and just Pretty much you're just rolling your finger up it and it would turn on. So you can see we're on speed three, down to speed one, and then uh, speed four, of course. So that's how it, what it sounds like, guys. I'll get you guys a closer sound throughout the video. But um, overall design and build quality, solid. Really solid gun, comfortable to use easy um you know easy to use pretty much so you got two batteries that come in the kit the batteries are hard to get in and out which is um you'll see this clear clear rubber right here so it really like hits the battery hard one thing is kind of annoying but i guess it stops any type of vibration on the battery that's what i would think but yeah so you get two batteries you get a charger pack for these batteries they are 12 volt and they're 2.5 ah so um Let's talk about some cool features guys so if you guys use like a roots the hybrid this one's gonna be um it's a lot bulkier so it's not gonna really get into as tight areas like the roots could because you have that long neck you have a little spout coming out this is kind of bulky compared to that but power wise this thing's a monster guys it's way stronger spins harder if you're trying to get that but um best thing about it is changing the heads i don't know what flex did but they made it so simple so where this is a 12 millimeter throw, um, three inch back and plate on this one. So we're gonna take this off and then we're gonna install the rotary. So watch how fast it is. So squeeze it, pops out, put this in the center, squeeze it, turn it on, good to go. So you guys can see how small this one is. This is like a one inch microfiber pad on it. Um, Works great. Only bad thing is that, like I said, the gun's pretty bulky. If you are using something like this, hopefully it's not in a tight area where the gun's gonna get in the way. So if you're trying to do like behind a mirror, this isn't gonna work for you. But if you're doing like black piano of the interior, like you could definitely get in there. This won't really affect you too much. But in real tight areas, you're gonna wanna use maybe an adapter to this or like a long bird or the eye bird. So that'll work. Um, you also get this other other tool, so this one is gonna be a five millimeter like EA, so just oscillating and it spins, not force rotation. This is your 12 millimeter throw one. So you get a lot of throw, a lot of power. Let's see how it works. So we're gonna just buff out a little part of the headlight real quick. 
so you guys can see in action, see how powerful it is. I'll put on different speeds and you guys can watch it work. Okay guys, so we're just gonna buff out this headlight real quick. We're gonna be using some clear cut from Car Pro and um, using a three inch backing, backing plate and the three inch pad. So give it a little shake. So let's get it operated. Um, like I said, you gotta flip your finger over. So this is P3. You can really see it spinning. Um, we'll go down to two. So you can check that out. Then we'll go to one. So you can see how slow it goes. And now we're gonna put up to speed four so you can hear it and see how fast it goes. So that was a quick demonstration how it works just to let you guys see how it does um, great tool my honest opinion i really enjoy it i think it's a must have in your detailing arsenal but yeah i appreciate you guys watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and check them out I'll put a link in the description for them and as always mark out